Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. We are back again with What's Up 5.0 and I am Nurdini Rafiza and I will be sharing to you guys about a bizarre event that has ever happened in my life. A common saying we often hear is that cats have nine legs. Huh? Is that even true? Do you have any idea why do people say cats have nine legs? As for me, I do believe in the myth that cats have multiple lives. This is because I had a cat known as Blonde. We named him Blonde because he is blonde. We adopted him when he was still a kitten. And after months of living with us, he had conjunctivitis on his right eye. My mom, who never had any experience with keeping cats, actually applied the wrong medication to Blonde. As a result, he went blind. But thankfully, only his right eye was affected. Even though he still had one eye on him, we found that he had difficulty finding his way. He couldn't find his food and sometimes drenched himself in the drain. But that didn't stop him from being alive. One funny thing about Bron is that unlike other male cats, he always stayed at home. Yes. And he never socialized with other cats. We even suspected he was as he never engaged in mating behaviors with female cats. However, as he became older, he finally got into a fight with other male cats. As we all know, cats are territorial species. So there was this one day when Don went back home after he had been missing for two days. We were actually that worried about him since he was not found. On the next day, we were surprised to see him in the kitchen, lying down helplessly, injured with blood on his abdomen. We took quick action by going to the vet and he had to undergo surgery. Luckily, no internal parts were affected and the surgery went well. With six stitches in his stomach, once again, he survived. An event that blew my mind away was when my brother accidentally hit Blonde while he was riding an electric scooter around our house. I was preparing food in the kitchen when I heard someone scream and that was when I saw Blonde drenched in blood motionless. As I came closer, I could see the blood running from his ears and nose. My heart literally stopped for a while. That was the exact moment when I knew he was not going to make it because I saw a lot of blood. And it happened around 7 p.m. and we didn't get to bring him to the bed since they were closed. He was still breathing and I had no choice but to bring him inside. We put him on a blanket and gently removed the blood from his ears and also nose by using a towel. The blood didn't seem to stop but we tried our best to keep pressure on the wound by holding the towel in place. My mom who was also there gently touched his head and she actually recited Udu'a repeatedly. Blonde was still silent and motionless. I knew at that moment we couldn't do anything to keep him survive. It was actually hard for me to accept the fact that he might go on forever. I was scared, but I was preparing for the worst. Next morning, miraculously, I saw him eating his favorite meal, which is tuna sandwich while sitting on my father's lap as if nothing happened last night. It was totally a bizarre thing for me because he survived without even going to bed. How is that possible? I really thought that we were going to lose him. To this day, I still don't know how he healed from the accident, but I guess I do have to believe in miracle. With the will of Allah, I guess nothing is impossible. And Blonde, he was always full of surprise. The ability of them to survive against the odds is indeed bizarre to me. That is all for my story time for today. Thank you for watching.